Hello everybody, I'm Heather here and we are going to be doing Steam Fridays this morning. Um, we are making butter in a jar this morning and this is the first one of our Steam um, program. So there's uh, four different weeks that are going to be um, Steam focused. <laughs> Trying to think here. Um, so this is the very first week and today is Thanksgiving themed because of Thanksgiving this weekend. So we're going to be making butter in a jar. Um, here is my um, thingy. So I've got my marbles here and my cream in here. And this is what you got in your kit if you were able to pick up your kit this week, which I think a lot of you did. So that's really awesome. Um, so yeah, that's all you're gonna need for supplies and we are going to shake like crazy and make butter in a jar and I've got a few um, fun facts to share with you along the way and talk about the science behind it as well. So let's get started. I'm gonna set you down here and here is the butter or soon to be butter hopefully so um, your kit came with two marbles you're going to want to make sure they're clean and give them a little rinse which I've done already and we're going to open up our jar whoops <laughs> open up our jar here and the cream that I gave everyone is 33% whipping cream so um, it's the thickest I could find but if you can find thicker, that will work more efficiently to make butter, I guess. So that's um, what I learned anyways on the internet. Sorry, I'm just trying to prop this up a little. Let's try this. There, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to put my marbles in. Oof, it splashed right up. <laughs> Taste the cream if you like. Tastes like cream. Okay. And we're going to taste it at different stages, too, because this is going to apparently make whipped cream as well. So, my marbles are in there. Um, I was assured on the internet that they shook it pretty hard and never broke the marbles. Um, the point of the marbles is to help agitate the cream and make it um, into butter or whipped cream first and then butter. So, um, the marbles just help speed up the process, but I'll talk a bit more about what's going on there. We're just going to start shaking here. So it'll be loud for a few minutes, but we're going to shake, shake, shake. If you're here live, tell me in the comments that you're here. I'd love to know who's watching and um, let me know if you're doing this with me. So comment while I'm shaking. already getting a little thicker I can tell but it's still very liquidy so I'm gonna keep shaking sorry that this is so loud and at this point your kids can definitely be doing this part um, get them to take turns shaking. Um, apparently, as it gets thicker, it does get a little harder to do anything, so you'll have to shake it even harder and you might have to take a turn. Checking my lids on tight. So again, it's still pretty liquidy in there. It's hard to 
show you, let me um, this around here. So that's what it's looking like. Still pretty liquidy as you can see, but we're going to keep on shaking. Um, the science behind this, so when the marbles help agitate the cream, and even just the shaking itself, if we didn't have marbles in there, the cream is made up of little molecules with fat in them and water. And so when it's agitated, the fat molecules are going to break apart and separate from the water molecules. And then they're going to find each other and the fat molecules will all cling to each other in a clump. And that clump is going to be what's our butter. So that's what we're doing here. Keep going. pretty liquidy so I'm hoping we'll get some whipped cream pretty soon but you can see my marbles in there as well If you're just joining me live, we're making um, butter in a jar, and so I've got some 33% cream in the jar along with two marbles to help agitate it, and I'm just shaking away. We're still pretty liquidy right here, but it's getting a little thicker as we go. So, still shaking here. Shake, uh, get your kids to take turns, alternate arms. It is tiring, so keep going. If you're here live as well, comment and tell me um, which of your kids are here and who's watching and if you're doing this along with me. Let me know. I'll show you an updated look at how we're doing here. Ooh, it's definitely expanding. Let's see. Ooh, yes, I think my jar is fuller than it was, and you can see it's um, thicker. We've got some sort of foam look to it. Let's taste it. Still tastes, tastes like um, whipped cream almost. Ooh, I see we've got some live participants. Let's see. Emerson is shaking her cream like crazy. Awesome job, Emerson. Dream and Adam are shaking hard. Good work. Dominic and Seth are here. They're exhausted from shaking. I know it's a good morning workout, isn't it? Um, 
Tyler got in late. Do we just need to shake it? Yes, Tyler. So I put my marbles in the bottom here. Make sure they're clean. Give them a little rinse. And then put your marbles in. And we've just been shaking, shaking. And let's see. Reed and Carson are very close to having butter. Oh my goodness, that's super awesome. You guys must be quick shakers. I've been uh, shaking pretty hard, I think. But mine's still um, close to whipped cream. So after we get whipped cream, which is close to where we're at here, then the um, the cream, the whipped cream, is going to all be in sort of a clump together. So we keep shaking, and that's when we start to get the separation. So you will get separation of like a watery milk, and then you're going to get a harder clump in the middle, and that is your butter, of course. And the milk stuff that separates is your buttermilk. So we're going to pour that off. Um, so you will need another dish eventually. I haven't got anything here with me. I'll head to the kitchen when we're at that point. Um, but yeah, you're going to pour the buttermilk off. And then you'll have your butter. And we'll have to rinse it a little bit um, in just water. Pippin came by to say hi. Pippin, who's here? Look, we're making butter. <laughs> this is Pippin. This is my dog at home here. Um, she likes to show up for nighttime tales, so if you're ever um, available on Wednesday nights, I do nighttime tales on Wednesday evenings at 6.30, live here on Facebook as well, and Pippin is always there. Um, looks like Heath and Brayden are shaking. Awesome job, guys. Keep up the good work. It's definitely a lot of work. We're getting our morning gym workout in here, and this can count as some... PE for you homeschoolers, I think, getting some tired arms, um, but it helps to see some progress. Mine is definitely close to whipped cream. I'm going to start shaking a little harder. Uh, people say hi, Pippin. She says hi back. Max, his kids had butter success. That's so awesome, Max. Um, I don't know if you can post pictures in the live comments. But if you can, try to post a picture of what your butter looks like. And um, if not, I know you can post it after uh, I save this as a replay. So definitely anyone with success, post your butter pictures in the comments below uh, later if you like. That's so awesome. So Max, what we're going to do once we've got a clump of butter is put it in some really cold ice water. Um, just put the actual butter itself right in the water and then get the kids to knead it and that will help any little bits of buttermilk that are in there to come out and that is supposed to help the butter last longer so if there's buttermilk in the butter it's fine like it's gonna taste good but the butter will spoil sooner um, so I guess it depends how soon you plan to eat all of your butter but um, once you do get butter, you can totally make some toast or something and you should definitely spread the butter on there and taste it and maybe compare it to some store-bought butter, see what you like better. And maybe your kids will have to be making their own butter every morning <laughs> if they're really attached to it. Hi, Pip. Pippin's still here, hanging out. She wants to know what all this racket is about and who I'm talking to. <laughs> so mine's definitely getting thicker. Um, it's harder to shake. I don't hear the marbles nearly as much. It was really loud at the beginning, but now I just hear a little bit of marble clinking. So I'm going to check on it again. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. Can you see on my lid? It's uh, a little oat oh, there. I've got whipped cream for sure. Come look at this. Look at that. Whipped cream for sure. Let's taste that. See the thickness? Mmm. Yep, tastes like whipped cream. It's not very sweet. Well, it's kind of sweet actually. Um, but I think a lot of whipped cream maybe has sugar added as well. Let's see. Amelia says... 
it's cold and her arms are getting tired. Good thing there's three of us. Yes, I relate to Amelia because my arms are also tired. I wish Pippin here could take a turn to shake this. But now that we've reached whipped cream stage, hopefully it shouldn't be too long. Um, maybe Max, since you guys are ahead of us, let us know how much longer it took after you had whipped cream. And if you've got whipped cream, let me know. And let me know if you tasted it, because it does taste good. So, you can hardly hear my marbles now. It's definitely harder to shake, and you've got to shake it a bit harder at this point. So, I'll just do my best with my own two arms. Too bad. Um, hubby didn't take the day off to help me with this. <laughs> Oh, it's really hard to shake the cream. Oh, maybe if I do this kind of motion. I hear more marble if I do this motion. Let's try it upside down. Maybe. Try this. I just, <laughs> I almost threw the jar. That would be bad. Two hands, maybe. Hi, Pippin. Are you helping? What's this? Are you making some butter? You gonna taste the butter too? <laughs> Good girl. You helping? Okay. Oh, my marbles are hardly moving. Oh, I hear them now. When they get to the top, I can kind of hear them. Um, but it's getting really thick, so this might be a good time for um. The parents to take over if the kids aren't having much success shaking anymore. I'm sure all of their arms are getting really tired at this point. Mine sure are. Whew. Let me know in the comments. Give me an update of how your shaking is going. Um, but the reason I wanted to do this this week, make butter in a jar, is because of Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, as you may know, is on Monday. Um, that's the traditional day to have our Thanksgiving dinner, but my family's, uh, I have one dinner on Saturday, tomorrow, and one dinner on Sunday, and then Monday we're just all resting from our turkey comas when we eat too much turkey. So, um, let me know what you're doing for Thanksgiving, but anyways, butter relates to Thanksgiving kind of, because we eat a lot of food at Thanksgiving, so I wanted to do a food experiment that you could eat, and, oh, there, get the marble going, um, yeah, I wanted to do food experiment, and butter is a good one, because traditionally, people made their own butter like this all the time, they didn't just go out and buy a block of butter or margarine at the store, they had to make their own, so when they're um, they would go milk their cow on their own farm. They would get the milk. Um, they wouldn't separate off the fat um, because that's the important part that you need. So in normal milk, um, when you milk a cow, you let milk settle and then you separate the fat off the top and then you've got your milk that you would normally drink. But when they're making butter, to my knowledge anyways, they keep all that fat in there, and then they shake it and agitate it. I think they actually have, um, like a device that you stir. I, I'm gonna have to look it up. I should have looked it up before this so I could tell you about it, but, um, they've got another sort of device that, um, stirs the whip, the cream really fast and agitates it and makes it into butter. Still takes a lot of work, but, um, I don't think they shook it like this. Ooh, Lillian says, we got whipped cream. That's awesome. Okay, let's do an update on mine. Ooh, it's getting thicker for sure. It's, um, whoops. There, I just shook it down to the bottom of the jar. So here's what mine is looking like. Definitely thicker than it was. And let's taste. This part still looks like whipped cream. Same with what's on the lid. But it is thicker. Um, let's poke this. Yep, it's definitely thicker. I have no idea where my 
marbles are at um, because I haven't really been hearing them. So the marbles definitely help get it to whipped cream, but I don't think they're doing much to help it get it further from whipped cream into butter. So we're still making progress though, so this is good. I feel like when I shake, I'm hardly doing anything Ugh, because it's so thick, it's not really even moving. So if you feel like that, I can relate. Oh, Megan says, we've got butter. Shannon, we've got butter. Oh, you guys, that's so awesome. Um, tell me, I need to know, how long did it take you after you had it where mine is at? Because I'm getting desperate here, shaking all by myself. I need to know how much closer I am. Tell me I'm close, please. Okay. Oh, someone, Angela has whipped cream now. That's awesome. So those of you that have butter, have you separated your buttermilk? I would love to see what that looks like. Oh my goodness, this is hard. Definitely um, a need for parental assistance. Uh, a few more minutes. Okay, thank you. Not long from the whipped cream phase. Thank you guys. That's what I want to hear. Even if it is a long time, that gives me hope. But I really don't know that I'm doing anything. It's hardly moving in the jar. Whipped cream! Catherine has whipped cream too. Awesome, you guys. Holy, I'm out of breath. This is a lot of work. Pippin is staring at me here like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's, oh, look at that. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but mine is definitely getting a lot thicker. I don't see any um, buttermilk separating quite yet, but we're getting there. Whew. Oh my, okay, it's kind of all acting like it's in a clump. I think we're getting there. I don't know if I would call this butter really, but it's Definitely getting thicker. Ooh. Yeah, okay, cool. So I think I do recall the next stage, it kind of looks like it's curdled milk. And I can definitely see that a little bit here. I don't know if the lighting will let you see what I'm seeing, but um, when it pulls from the edges of the jar, it kind of does look a little curdled and that is fine. That's what's supposed to happen. Happens really fast from there. So cool. Awesome. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> oh, I, oh, it's actually doing things now. Okay, so it's a way easier to shake suddenly. And my buttermilk is definitely separating. Look at that. I've got liquid in there. And I've got this clump of butter. Okay, you guys, we're there. We have butter. This is so good. It took about 25 minutes of shaking, for me anyways. Some of you were a lot faster, so good on you for having those muscles. But yeah, so I think, oh, I see a marble. I was like, ew, what is that? But it's a marble, it's okay. Um, I think I'll shake for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to do the water bath to put my butter in, and that will give us the little rinse to make sure all the buttermilk is out of the butter itself. Oh, I'm relieved that this worked, hooray! <laughs> I knew you guys were having success, so I had hoped that I could endure all that shaking. We did it. So, this is a good example of back in the day, before everything was automated, and we could just go buy our own butter, not even butter anything, like people worked so much harder for everything they had back then because um, a lot of them, excuse me, raised their own animals on their farm, which people still do, of course, now, but we have farmers to provide those things for us. And in factories, all of our products are made for us and packaged for us, and we just go to the store and buy them. But back in the day, I don't know what the day would be, but maybe like 
longer than your parents probably. Maybe some of your grandparents would remember having to churn their own butter and um, yeah, get, get all their own stuff ready. Okay, this is super exciting. I think we're pretty good here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you can see it looks way different now. We've got that buttermilk and we've got the clump of butter in the middle. I really wanna poke it. Don't know if I can reach. Oh, I poked it. Yep, it's definitely a good butter texture because it doesn't really stick to my finger. And now I'm going to go into the kitchen and we're going to separate this. So let's head over to the kitchen and I'm going to pour the buttermilk off and then we're going to put the butter in an ice bath. So get a little dish or maybe a cup. Actually, I'll get a cup for the buttermilk in case I decide to drink it. Okay, so propping you up on my actual butter here. Actually, let's use the toaster, that's more stable. There we go. So, oh, that was not stable at all. My counter is too slippery. <laughs> okay, um, I'll just, you'll, you'll see what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna pour into this glass all the buttermilk that's in there. Try not to get the butter from coming out. You can hear my marbles are still in there. I'm gonna taste this. Tastes pretty good. Tastes like milk, I would say. I'm not a milk drinker. I usually drink um, almond milk, so I can't say for sure that this tastes like whole milk or whatever, but this is our buttermilk. Now our butter, I'm gonna grab a bowl. Let's see. We'll use one of these, um, flip you around here. I'm gonna use this um, to dump my butter in, but first I'm gonna let the water run really cold. I think I'll put some ice in here as well. So go over here and grab some ice. Opening up the freezer here. Grab some ice for our bowl. There we go. Let's see if our water is cold. It's kind of cold. It'll do with ice, so just adding the water there. I probably don't need that much. As you may see, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I read about this on the internet, so We'll see. Hopefully this doesn't totally ruin our butter, but the theory is that the cold water will keep the butter clumped together and the water is supposed to rinse the buttermilk off of the butter in there so that um, the butter won't perish as quickly. There. So yeah, you can see it get milky and that is the buttermilk coming off the butter. So I found one marble. Let's see. Ooh, it's so fun to just squish. I've never squished butter, really. Okay, oh, there's my other marble. There it is. So, um, it said to do this like a few times, to rinse it like a few times to get any pockets of buttermilk out of it, but I'm not that committed. I'm not expecting this to last me like <laughs> weeks, so. Honestly, I'll probably taste it and see how that goes and then yeah um, But this is nice and firm. It's not falling apart, which is great. I was a little worried. It would just fall apart here um, But it's kind of fun. It's like a soft clay consistency And you can see we're getting all that buttermilk off. You can see the water's a lot cloudier a little bit of butter sticking to me but I think I'll rinse out my jar. Whoops, <laughs> I didn't mean to flip that around yet, but that works. I'll rinse out my jar over here. I'll put, here, have a look at the butter. <laughs> That's not a good look, but sorry. One minute here. I've got to wash the 
butter off my hands. Which isn't working very well, so I'm just going to wipe on my tea towel. Sorry, everyone, for that lovely fact. Give my jar a little rinse just to get the buttermilk out. And I'm going to pick up my butter, get the water off it, put it back in the jar. There. Now we've got our jar of butter. And after the program, I'm definitely going to taste this on some um, toast or something and see how it goes. Oops, I still have some water in there. Try and pour it out. There we go. So I hope everyone had fun with this one. I uh, admit I was a little worried it wasn't going to work, um, but I'm glad we all had success as far as I could tell. Um, oh, Lillian got butter. I don't know if I saw that earlier. Good for you guys. Um, yes, love it. Thank you for your um, support in encouraging me to keep shaking <laughs> when I was getting desperate. And um, good job, everyone. So I hope you learned a little bit about how butter is made and how the atoms separate and the fat atoms um, clump together or molecules. The, the fat molecules clump together and form butter. So go ahead and taste your butter, taste the buttermilk, and I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you for being here. Max's kids, Max and kids are eating bread and butter now. Awesome. Homemade butter, I mean, it's gotta taste better, right? We put our elbow grease into it, so <laughs> awesome. Thanks for watching. Yay, tried on toast already. Emerson loved it. That's so awesome, Shannon. Thanks for sharing. Keep sending me those comments in the replay here and send me a picture of your finished butter or your snack that you made with butter and let me know how it's going. Thanks so much, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving.